All right. Um, let me start discussing in this message, you know, why narcissism is on the rise. It's, it's become a popular thing now. People want to know. People are seeing it. Um, there's more awareness about the disorder now. I can remember back when I first started speaking on this on YouTube, it was people still didn't know what it was. They were thinking it was just somebody fascinated with themselves looking in the mirror and stuff like that. But today, fast forward almost 10 years later, it was a decade later, uh, it's starting to it's starting to be on the rise everywhere. Where at one point, like I said, it was considered a rare personality phenomenon. And now it's perceived to be everywhere, you know. Um, I think that, you know, it's attributed to, you know, a lot of surface level factors. Like uh, I've mentioned on a multitude of times social media you know um you know societal individualism and all these things this is this plays a, a major part in why it's on the rise but um i want to speak on some other things that just was on my mind about like how you know, this reshaping of the way humans interact with themselves and others in the world. So I just wanted to kind of go over this and just speak on it. You know, um, I guess, you know, just looking at over time, When you look at it and you study like how societies were back in time, a lot of them uh, had collective identities, you know, emphasizing more on community and shared values and cooperation and stuff like that of of people coming together. And um, now where individualism has really promoted more of the the self promotion and you know over collaborating and and all of these things we we see higher levels of elevated self worth which is one of the narcissistic traits um excuse me people are i want to say that uh People today are, are more so from back then. People are more. They're more focused on achievements, you know, rather than relationships and community contributions. You know, now it's about what are you like? What are, what are you achieving? You know, do you have a. Do you have a following and stuff like that? This, you know, these things. Now, you know, you go back 20, 30 years ago, nobody was asking you, do you have a following? <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, you had your friends, you know, you didn't need it, you know, it was different. Um, but when you create pressure for validation in a society, um, these individualistic systems that, you know, create whether or not you're successful or you're playing and all of this stuff it it promotes that it promotes hyper competitiveness which in these today's modern society um brings out a lot of this narcissistic behavior right because it, everything is is all about competitiveness and, and what do you have how many followers do you have versus you know i've heard this stuff like somebody would be like oh they only got a thousand followers like this is on other social media stuff not just youtube but you know so if you only have a little bit of followers uh you're not about anything you're worthless you know what i mean 
And if you have a lot of followers, oh, you're you're good. But it creates when you have hyper competitiveness, it creates uh, it creates the well, it brings out more of the narcissistic individuals that feel like, well, I can compete because I'm able to create a character that people will accept because people just face it today. People's critical thinking skills is very uh, lackluster and some not found at all, you know, and this is this is why narcissists can fit in these type of this type of way that society is, is because it gives them the ability to aggressively market themselves to stand out. They're good at that. They're good at creating personas and characters that people are going to like, that people are going to be drawn to. Um, if you look at, you know, I don't want to, and I don't want to do this. I don't want to solely blame narcissism on, well, social media on as to why narcissism is on the rise. Um, but there is some things within algorithms, right? The algorithms that are put, put onto these platforms kind of reward these types of behaviors and entitlements that people would get, right? Because you have the artificial intelligence kind of sticking its head out to um, pull in certain because it's monitoring your behaviors and all of this stuff. And it's 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 regulating the type of views or where where they go for attention. You know, so if they behave in a way and it gets rewarded because it's getting spread around, then it kind of falls back into, oh, maybe I should act and even do more of this. Right. And so this is where the, the, the other portion of the 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 how can you say uh, more of the quantified self-worth comes into play with the likes and the comments and the followers. These create the, the measurable metrics that can that they can look at at least to say, oh, this is I am something I, I do have this because look at all the likes, look at all the comments I got. Right. And so this falls back into self, the, the validation right and it you, you fall away from natural self self esteem into the external validation loop this is what gets so many locked and addicted to the social media which can produce and hyper produce these type of narcissistic individuals where they only want to live on social media they don't know how to get off of it It really forms an addiction. It's again, we're looking at another community where you've heard people say social media isn't a real place, but it is in the way a real place for them. Because everything that they experience on social media becomes real. And this is why for sane people, it's always healthy to take a step back. Right? Because the the digital world, if you will, the social media world allows individuals to craft and manipulate and ideal, you know, idealize versions of themselves. They can create avatars uh, that are super removed from reality and everything else, they can disassociate from their authentic selves and encourage the projection of grandiosity uh, to survive on social media. It's 
And over time, the disconnection between the true self and the online persona can seep into real world behavior, leading to that same exaggerated narcissistic sense of self-worth. If you follow me, basically what I'm saying is by being on there, it it'll it'll actually foster and get them to create because now like so social media becomes like the parent and it's teaching the individuals that are that are on there how to behave so i made a video right before this on on what causes nar narcissism like i, I should have made this like a part two but when people are on social media those ways that give the validation if you're doing good we're going to give you more views we're going to pass your video around more people more people are going to see it if you're not we're not going to give you any views and that way you're not going to get your video seen you're not going to get a lot of likes which means you're nothing so people start learning to adapt to what the behavioral expectations of social media is with the likes and the followers and after a while from being on there for so long they take what is in that on the platforms they take the platform world and version of themselves and they try to transfer it into the real world right so now They've just brought a lot of those narcissistic tendencies and traits that assured them survival in the social media world into the real world. And this is where a lot of people you see are checked out now when it comes to actually socializing amongst real people in society. They can't do it. If you look at it today, most people's social skills are out of whack. They have no real life social skills. You know, um, they lose their identity online. And, you know, um, it contributes, in my opinion, this is this is what really contributes to a lot of what we see today with narcissism being on the rise. You know, um, you got today, it's so much digital stimulation, which, and, you know, there's been some studies that shown that it alters brain chemistries in ways that promote narcissistic traits. Right. And so. This is this is what's what's happened. It's created a, a, an addictive reward system where narcissistic behaviors, you know, such as one of the main ones is attention seeking or, you know. Being popular, they're rewarded for short term. Um. Uh, reinforcement purposes so the person keeps doing it again and again and again because it becomes their emotional regulation it's like it's like if you drink coffee you got to have a cup of coffee in the morning was well, it, it becomes the same way for somebody that's with the social media they it, it's like they got to get first thing some people do is wake up and they're on their social media the platform it's like having that that dose a caffeine. The whole thing is over over course of history, if you look at it, and there's been studies on this as well, face to face interactions teach you empathy. You take out people's ability to socialize and interact face to face. 
their em- empathy uh, will be lacking. It'll, it, it's going to lack. And this is why you have the, a lot of the issues, I think, in relationships and stuff like that today. People aren't developing their em- empathic skills, their empathic abilities. Over a course of time, people become less and less attuned to other people's feelings. You'll, you, the, the emotional depth in which people go in uh, relationships rather than being um, connective and whatnot and, and, and building, they become more transactional. All relationships start to become transactional. And this is this is what this is what you're seeing today. And so, yes, I don't want to totally blame social media, but it does have a high. um, Point of 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 critical involvement. And the 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 making perpetuating this state of of narcissistic behavior, and you're going to see more and more of it because there's millions that are on social media now, and you have to have a certain balance with it. Um, just some thoughts I wanted to pass on and share. Um, that's all for this message, folks. Um, if you like, please consider to subscribe. Um, until next time.